Greetings, gentle sentience! Last Outrider here with part three of the Shield Maidens of Lysios. Brood Rain. A storm of tentacle fringed spores hurtled out of the bruised skies, disgorged by the tyrannid hive ships be bellying low above the planet. Canonist Grace fired off the interception signal. And all across the cityscape, quad-barrowed Icarus guns swiveled upwards and sent a thunderstorm of their own into the skies. Flack took perhaps one in every dozen of the vile things. Then, as the number of spurs, spores hurled their way increased, one in every score. Wherever the interceptor fire struck home, tyrannocytes would spew gouts of orange-white matter and hissing ichor, further filling the air with filth. Some were bullseyed by so many high-velocity shells that they burst apart altogether. Flailing weapon beasts spilled out of each ruptured egg sac to plummet downwards, and sizzling, drizzling showers of biological waste pattered onto Sororitas vehicle and Crawler Hulk alike. For every spore that was torn apart in mid-air, a clutch hammered down unharmed. The majority struck the earth with thudding force before distending to spray their mucus-covered passengers in all directions. Some burst upon impact to reveal crouching monstrosities that roared in alien fury as they stood up to their full height. Others closed back up after their swarm beasts spilled from their grisly petals, their tendrils caressing the ground as if feeling for a weakness. Still more spores made planetfall with such force that they sank their undersides halfway into the earth. Armored slabs of chitin folded out from their sides to dig down in the matter of parasites, burying claws into unprotected flesh. These strange burrower spores spat flaccid sacks into the air. Large, tentacled membranes that filled up like gas balloons and drifted away on unguessable errands. Only when a squad of seraphim soared in close, jump packs spitting blue flame, did the floater spore's purpose become clear. The bloated sacks exploded with such force that the nearest sisters were physically torn apart. Their comrades were hurled backwards, cries of dismay and pain stark amongst the mechanical chatter of anti-aircraft fire. In the wake of each explosion, smaller spore mines dispersed, tasting the air for more prey with their own twitching feelers. On the ground below, the scattering seraphim, the swarming weapon beasts that had been disgorged from the main body of spores began to mass together. Seen from on high, the broods behaved like beads of 
quicksilver on an incline, flowing together to form a puddle, then a pool, and then a tide. The wave of Xenos bioforms spilt across the salt-stained cityscape. A composite horror of purple chitin, hungry for the kill. Magda Grace gave the command to fire at will. All around the gigantic corral's perimeter, the Adeptas Auroritas that had taken position in the upper levels of the ruins leveled their bolters and opened fire. Mass reactive shells stitched strings of explosions across the nearest weapon beasts, sending them tumbling into the algae-slicked debris. Their broodmates leapt over the fallen without slowing, driven onward by the sinister leader organisms stalking in their wake. Scythe-limbed horrors darted through arch and courtyard with supernatural speed. The fallen masonry of Lysios hindering them no more than the grass of a planetary governor's lawn. Battle psalms rang out, and teams of white armored retributors stepped out from the shadows in the upper stories of each ruin, each framed by an arch that once housed the icon of an imperial saint. The sisters frowned in disgust at the Xenos skittering below as their heavy vultures coughed out a litany of death. The din echoing off the ruins nearby. Dominions and Celestians added their firepower to the salvo. Each of the Tyranid broods that scurried open into the open was torn to pieces, shredded by more bolter fire than an entire company of space marines could ever hope to muster. Whenever a battle sister needed to reload, she would pivot and back off, her place taken by a fresh warrior, hungry to make her own toll on the swarm. The cull had begun. <laughs> Until next time, with part four. Bye!